like to eat snails so much. Why? Because they can't stand fast food. <laughs> wow, that was bad. It really was. You two couldn't think of anything better. Yeah, I can. Sure, Trevor. Okay, guys, let's get back on track. So what were you guys doing before? We were just finishing up reading The Boy in the Striped Pajama. So how was it? It was good, but I'm confused. How about what, Trevor? Well, I just don't understand why Schmiel was in uh, Bruno's mother's kitchen. Well, how about we recap the story so we can find out? Okay, well, I did some research, and in the full book, it says that Bruno was a Nazi child living right next door to a concentration camp during World War II. And being a kid and all, he played outside, and while playing outside, Bruno met a quiet boy on the other side of the fence wearing pajamas. What do you mean pajamas? The pajamas were the suits that the that the, all the Jews wore in the concentration camps. These clothes helped the Nazis to identify who was a Jew and made them easier to spot if they tried to run away. Oh, okay. That boy was Shmuel, and they became close friends, playing with each other with the different sides of the fence. Yeah, but this encounter makes it seem like they're a lot more serious when they're playing outside together. Yeah, in this scene, Shmuel seems a little worried, even scared. Maybe Shmuel had been scolded and punished before this. But why? He hadn't done anything bad. That reminds me of the time when I had to clean out my cat's litter box, but it was my sister's turn, and for no reason. Well, did you do anything bad? No. That must have been what the Jews felt like in the Holocaust. Yeah, because they were taken from their homes and killed for no reason at all. I know I would take the litter box over a concentration camp. Well, maybe we can find more information in the text. Yeah, how about we reread the story and see why Shmuel is so scared. Okay, so he's scared, but why? Later in the text it says, He told me not to move from the seat or there'd be trouble. So the lieutenant warned Shmuel not to move, and that just scared him? Okay, so we know why Shmuel is scared, but why is Shmuel sitting in that seat in the first place? In paragraph 7 and 9, we see Shmuel explaining to Bruno why he was in there. He said, There was a job for me to do here. They asked me to polish the glasses, said Shmuel. They said they needed someone with tiny fingers. Okay, so Shmuel is in Bruno's house because Lieutenant Cutler told him to clean Bruno's mother's drinking glasses. Yeah. Oh, I get it now. Well, I have a question. What's the theme? The theme? The central text? The idea of the text? Yeah, what's the theme of the story? Well, the theme of the story is a moral or a lesson taught to the readers to learn something from it. So what's the lesson we learned from reading this? That when mean guys yell, little boys freak out. No, something more in-depth, something that would really impress on people from reading this. How about we reread the story? Maybe we can find a clue as to what the theme is. I've got an idea. Yeah, what? Okay, well, the boys have a great friendship together. Yeah, but what about their friendship? Oh, the boys are very different from each other. Uh, Bruno lives in a nice house and has nice food to eat. But Shmuel's life is totally different because he doesn't have good food and he's living in crowded quarters with no family. So what? The boys are different. But what does that have to do with anything? Well, look at it this way. The two boys are very different, but despite their differences, they have a working friendship. So you're saying that the theme of the boy in striped pajamas is that even though there are differences in people, friendship surpasses them all? Yeah. How about we Despite differences between people, friendship surpluses all the differences. Yeah. Uh, what about Shmuel? Uh, why was he in Bruno's mother's kitchen? He was in there because Lunatic Kotler ordered him to clean Bruno's mother's drinking glasses. That seems about right. I'm getting hungry. Anyone else? You always are, Cyril. We could eat. That doesn't matter, Lydia. But seriously, how about we get lunch? Okay, let's go.